Alright guys, so welcome to Black Dog Survival and uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the Daisy Powerline Model 1000. So there it is. It is a long rifle. It is uh, chambered and uh, 177. And uh, I've had this thing for quite a while and I like it a lot. So I picked this up from, from Walmart or, or was it Sports 30? It was one of the two. I picked it up about eight or nine years ago and I've used it the entire time. I've used it, uh, I've gone years without using it, then I picked it up and I use it um, and it's been pretty good to me. So I believe when I bought it six, seven years ago, this thing I think it was right at about a hundred dollars. Now it uh, came with a scope that is a power line Three to nine by thirty-two scope. It has um, elevation and uh, windage adjustments. Cable. Uh, it's capable of elevation and windage adjustments. And uh, this thing is very nice. Okay, this thing. It also came with the. I guess you could say its own sights, the iron sights, uh, which is right here. Which is also. It's a little loose, but you can tighten it up. It also has the um, windage and uh, elevation sights right there as well sorry about that and if you look right here you use that that right there to slide it on it now this is a brake barrel okay uh, which I like a lot because I'm not a big fan let's break this because I'm not a huge fan of the uh, pump action of the, I'm sorry the uh, pump rifles so very simple it's one round at a time obviously you break it down you throw the 177 caliber around in there and you go to town with it. So I believe this thing does about uh, 1200 feet per second. Um, it is right now the scope's not zeroed in. Had to do some work to the mount area here. Um, but when it was zeroed in, it, it was dead on, guys. It, I mean, it was, it was pretty accurate. Um, I really like the trigger here. It's um, very nice, very little creep on it. It does have a little bit, but nothing bad. And it's probably got a safety, just right here. Um, just going to let you hear what it sounds like. There you go, it's pretty loud. Um, and most of the time, the, the prey is hit before um, it realizes it's been fired. Because it, it does uh, shoot pretty fast. Now, one thing I don't like about this is up here, where the scope mounts on. I'm sorry, it's a little dirty. Up here, where it mounts on right there, the lip there isn't very pronounced. So, um, after, I'd say about 50 rounds or so, I have to readjust the scope. Um, because it does move around a little bit, okay? So, I don't know what the overall length on this thing is, but, it would, uh, I like it quite a bit. Now, you know, I'll actually look that up and it'll be in the comment section. Um, so, in a shit hit the fan, um, everything's gone to hell. This, to me, is a, uh, great weapon to have. And I know there's a lot of guys that talk about air guns and uh, why they're you know why they're good good in your arsenal because here it is. There's the ammo. Next best thing to 22, right? For a small game. Small ammo for a great price though. Um, here's 250 rounds right here for I think it was four dollars. Now I have a couple of these. Uh, I like to pick the ones up at Crossman because uh, I don't know that's what I see in them, like what I've known. So I pick them up quite often. Um, every, you can buy them at Walmart, and every time um, I get a chance, I pick some up. Um, it's it's good to have uh, for squirrels, any sort of waterfowl, uh, most birds in general. Uh, you're gonna be able to use this. Um, uh, I've never shot a rabbit with it, but I've heard of a lot of guys doing it and being successful with it. So. I recommend you get one of these. Uh, obviously, it's an air gun. You can go to the store and pick one up and come right home. You know, there's nothing to fill out or anything like that. And for that reason, this is something that I highly recommend that any prepper or any survivalist uh, would have in their arsenal. Um, it's they're generally pretty safe, in my opinion. You know, um, don't look through the barrel and pull the trigger, just like any weapon. You know, treat it as if we're loaded. Uh, Cons, I, I can't think of too many guys uh, other than just the railing right there um, and the iron sights that are already that came on it. 
they're you know they're not great, but generally speaking, the DC Model 1000, uh, if you can, I would definitely pick one up. I mean, there's I just like the way this uh, gun's made. The construction's really strong on it. Um, it's a very solid weapon. It actually feels like a real rifle. And uh, yeah, so there it is, guys. Uh, the Daisy 1000, the power li Daisy Powerline Model 1000. I'm gonna be doing a review here. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a video here uh, in a little bit where I uh, paint this thing out a little bit. So check it out. Well, I hope you like it, and uh, please uh, leave any comments. Thank you.